This morning, we continue our coverage of a governor under fire. Right now, Governor Ralph Northam is weighing his future in Richmond. It comes after a racist photo surfaced last week on his 1984 EVMS yearbook page. Here are some of the very latest details coming into our newsroom. A top administration official who spoke to the Associated Press on the condition of anonymity said Governor Northam is meeting with staff to hear their assessment of whether it's viable for him to stay in office. Secretary of Finance Aubrey Lane said he told Northam Virginia can't afford a prolonged period of uncertainty over his future. We've also learned how the racist photo in the 1984 EVMS yearbook came to light. Conservative news site Big League Politics says a concerned citizen submitted the picture following the governor's recent comments on abortion legislation. We've been on top of this story since it broke on Friday, and this morning we're providing team coverage with what's next on this story. I'll show you what happens next in Richmond if Northam should step down, but we start with Kiana in Norfolk. She is live at EVMS, and Kiana, the medical school is set to hold a news conference today about the racist photos that appeared in that 1984 yearbook. That's right, Lex, there is a press conference scheduled for this afternoon, and that's where school leaders will talk about how unacceptable photos made their way into the school yearbook. Now, take a look at this picture. This is the racist photo made public by Governor Ralph Northam on Friday. Since then, the medical school's president announced an investigation. That investigation will look into past yearbooks, finding out who published them and if there were any administrative oversight. Well, 10 on your side found more blackface pictures in EVMS yearbooks, one with the caption, whoever thought Diana Ross would make it into medical school. Our sister station in Roanoke talked with the man in those pictures. Here's what he had to say. I'm sorry if I offended the, them. You know, I am a big fan of Diana Ross. I love the Supremes. I have a lot of great African American friends. I still do. And um, they gave me their blessing that this would not offend them. And it was a Halloween party. I meant no disrespect to the African American community. And that investigation will also look into the culture here on campus. That press conference is scheduled to happen this afternoon at 2 o'clock. In Norfolk, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.